Hey everybody, so we're going back to the basics right now. There was a great image going around that's shown here asking this, if you're fearful of who is president, then wouldn't that mean the presidency, and by extension the government, have too much power to begin with? I think this makes an extremely important point. Let's take Bernie Sanders supporters, for example. They wanted him to get into office and begin controlling massive sectors of the economy to an unprecedented level of power and influence. Let's assume for a moment an extremely unlikely scenario. Sanders becomes president, wrestles away control of the economy, and now has a gargantuan amount of power. Now let's assume that he makes all the right choices, distributes income, distributes resources, and distributes contracts in a totally efficient manner. Let's say he comes up with all the necessary government paperwork and rules that businesses must abide by, and he does a stellar job at this. Again, this is directly next to being impossible, but let's assume he does this. This would be a huge increase in government power. So what happens when Bernie Sanders inevitably leaves office and someone who isn't as capable, competent, or responsible gets into power? Now the entire economy is being driven by an incapable, incompetent, and irresponsible person. The damage that could potentially be done by this is quite literally nation-shattering. Let me pose another question. Does the average person within society really sincerely care who the CEO is of any major business? Do people give any time or energy to worrying about who the next leaders of a private organization are? Does even the biased media have a round-the-clock megaphone telling us about the new business leader we should all be afraid of? Of course not. Although they do do that with any new president. Besides investors, I would venture to say that it doesn't concern people in almost any capacity. Even if you were to convince me that a particular big business is immoral, incompetent, and degenerate, the chances that they can actually have an effect on my life are extremely slim, especially if I choose to not involve them in my life. Can the same be said about a president or congress? Obviously not. This is an extraordinarily important distinction that must be made if you're going to have any coherent opinion on whether growing or shrinking government is a good idea at all. You are condemned to government rule and you have no realistic options to escape it. Think about Bernie Madoff for a moment. As indecent and corrupt as he was, Compared to the government's and Federal Reserve's shotgun blasts to the economy, Madoff inflicted but a tiny scratch, which even that was insurmountably more avoidable in one's own life than the damage that can be done by a government decree. Thanks, and until next time.